Before we get into the video, I need you guys to do me a favour. Number one, like the video. Also comments, let me know your thoughts on the case. Liam Byrne, born October 30th of 1980 in Dublin, is classed as one of Ireland's most prolific and enigmatic Irish gangsters. He is a member of the Byrne Organised Crime Gang that was effectively aligned with the notorious and dangerous Kinahan Organised Crime Group. Through family connections on his mum's side, who's Sadie, Liam was able to forge connections with some of Ireland's most serious gangsters. These include people like Fat Freddy Thomas, Liam Brannigan, to rise through the ranks and then establish the biggest connection of them all, that being the Kinnahans. Eventually, through those connections with the Kinnahans, Liam would be given continuous supplies to Kilo of Class A gear, pistols, access to soldiers and also the notoriety around Ireland to know that Christy Kinahan himself was back in Liam Byrne. That came with ego and a presence of its own. Now classed as the second youngest of six siblings, Liam quickly recognised that in order to get any attention, he had to set himself apart from the pack. Whether that meant by scrapping, brawling, dealing, rubbing or worse, it was all methods deemed acceptable to not only survive, but to flourish in the underworld swamp that is Irish crime. Now Liam Byrne's own dad was a criminal career as well and a hard man, James Joel Byrne. He had links to Martin the General Cahill and he was known for fraud and counterfeits. Now Liam Byrne's first official interaction with the Gardai was when he was a street dealer. At the age of 13, 14, 15, Liam was selling cannabis in Crumlin, the south area of Dublin. Now once the money from cannabis was not enough, Liam then upgraded to selling pills like ecstasy. Now it was at this time that Christy Kinahan was supplying Liam Byrne with gear. Again, Liam was only a young teenager and at this time Christy Kinahan was roughly 30 years old. Now according to rumours, Christy saw something of himself in Liam. The lack of fear, a boss mentality and the fortitude to deal with any situations like dealers trying to rob dealers. From an early age, the guard ahead had described Liam Byrne as a real problem and someone who would eventually be a key figure in Irish crime, and he was. So, fast forward to 1998, Liam Byrne and his mate, Liam Greenhaug, who was a talented footballer, holding the position of Ireland's under-16 captaincy, had carried out armed robberies on two shops. At the time, Liam was 19 years old. Armed with a pistol, Liam and his mate had told the cashier to get on the ground. The do shop doors were locked and the two men were said to have left the shop with a few thousand pounds and of course other goods and items. Now high after their new occupation, word quickly spread around Crumlin and Tamworth that Liam Byrne had officially upgraded to the new level of serious gangster. On the second robbery however, an off-duty officer walked into the shop. Liam and his mates did not, lock, did not have time to lock the door. Now maybe it was the influence of Christy Kinahan, or maybe it was Liam's first official offence. However, Liam was arrested and then charged with a long list of crimes that included burglary, robbery, driving offences and also possession of a pistol. In January 2000, Liam was found guilty after a trial and he was given a suspended sentence of four years. That was a major win. Now when it comes to illicit and illegal acts, Liam Byrne was at the centre of it all despite the fact that one of the conditions of a suspended sentence was being bound to keep the peace. He did not listen. Now after being given a suspended sentence in April of 2000, Liam had been at the Abreka Bra after a night of drinking. Three women had been involved in the dispute with a Trevor Donnelly and his partner, Jennifer Doyle. After shoving one another, the woman had called Liam. Now he had driven to the location with a baseball bat and then struck Trevor Donnelly repeatedly, not stopping until Trevor was on the floor, not moving. Trevor's partner, Jennifer, pleaded with Liam to stop. Now Liam, in front of over 50 witnesses, is says to have told her, tell him if he wakes up, it's... Now of course, the guard day was called and Liam Byrne was arrested. Liam and his associates tried to force Jennifer Doyle, Trevor's girlfriend, not to give evidence and to have the case dropped. Liam first offered £50,000. It was refused. When that didn't work, Liam then promised that he would K her. Her home was then fired upon and Jennifer was forced to move out of Crumlin. Now she was forced to have no money and live in a B&B. Again, it did not work. 
and Liam Byrne was jailed in May of 2000. In total, Liam Byrne was given a six-year sentence. Now, that jail sentence only helped solidify Liam's place in the criminal underworld. Just 60 days before Liam Byrne was first jailed, three members of the Byrne gang had been arrested at the Holiday Inn in Perth Street. Now, two of the people were charged, but the third person, that being Declan Gavin, was released without charge. Now, of course, people started to wonder how on earth could this happen? Now, being a criminal of this magnitude means that you suffer with emotions, such as being wary, being anxious, and also paranoid. Now, while Liam Byrne safely in jail, the gang split into two factions. One was headed by Brian Rattigan, and another was headed by Freddie Thomas and Declan Gavin, the guy that was released without charge. Now again, without Liam Byrne, things turned violent. In March of 2001, Christy Kinahan was released from prison. Now he wanted to avoid the Criminal Assets Bureau. So he packed his bag and headed to Europe so he could be closer to the Class A gear wholesale market. He moved to Spain. Now within a few weeks of the Kinahan's departure, Brian Rattigan had fatally stabbed Declan Gavin. Now that feud would lead to 13 fatalities and also last over 10 years. Now, Liam Byrne was released from jail in November of 2004. With Liam back out on the streets, himself and Freddie Thomas had kept going back and forth to Spain in order to meet Chrissy Kinahan. Now, the Kinahan supplied them with Class A gear and they oversaw the distributions and debt collection with the help of the Kinahan contacts. They were making millions and millions of pounds. And then during 2007 to 2008, Freddie Thompson got involved with a feud with the INLA. He had to flee Dublin for several periods, leaving Liam Byrne to assume control of the gang. And in 2013, he had set up the LS Active Car Sales in the Blue Ball Industrial Estate. Now, the business did not act as a car sales business, but the cars were for the exclusive use of the gangs and their families. Of course, it was a front. Now, by the time the business was raided by the Criminal Assets Bureau, it had not sold a single car. Let that sink in. Liam Byrne suffered a first personal loss when his brother, as part of the Byrne-Hutch feud, David Byrne, who acted as an enforcer for the gang, was fatally at the Regency Hotel when he went back to check on Daniel Kinahan. When David circled back, he encountered two men dressed in the Garde emergency response clothes. He tried to make a run for it. One of the trigger men actually stood on top of the hotel reception desk and David at point blank range multiple times, once, twice, thrice, four times, five times until he was on moving. Now the intended target was of course the Kinahans but they knew that David Byrne was a member, a trusted enforcer so of course he was collateral damage. David was no angel. He was long suspected of being involved in the M of Gary Bryan in Walkenstone. However, he was cleared of that charge and he was also arrested with Eugene Cullen after a 20-year-old man had been in the stomach. Liam Byrne also moved to Spain after Christy Kinahan. With Christy's help, Liam helped ship large quantities of gear and also Ireland from Spain. These included things like RPGs, AKs, over 9 kilos of coke which were all discovered in Kildare in 2010. On June 4th of 2023, Liam Byrne was arrested in Mallorca. Now, he had travelled to Mallorca from Dubai in order to meet family. Now, he was arrested while in a restaurant eating with his family. The Spanish police says that Liam Byrne's criminal group had brought to sell to other criminal organisations. The investigation was led by the National Crime Agency and also supported by the Gardai. Now, after the investigation was finished, Byrne fled to Dubai and in December of 2023, he was extradited to the UK. Of course, he is facing very serious charges. They include procuring and the sale and shipment of GUNs and also large, large quantities in the of Class A gear. And he's also been charged with running a criminal organisation. And this is the downfall of the Byrne crime family boss, Liam Byrne. Stay safe, safe.